hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to achieve this style the one on my thumbnail is a bit bigger than this but it's the same process this girl was just small so let's go so for the style you cut you first of all cut out your base I have a detailed video on how to create your base for your auto gilly on my channel so i will not be focused on this one on the base on this video so you can go back and watch that to know how to make your base so this is just a three layers gilly and it's just 78 length so i have to manage it so the first thing i did was to cut my base i used 22 inches i cut it into three for the base you know your base is three you can make it four. It depends on how long you want it to be or how much pleats you want to do at the front. How much pleats you want to create at the front. So I cut three, 22 inches in three places. Then I will go to the sewing machine and sew it and join it. So for the rows, for the rows, I do not, my, the customer said she did not want the rows to be too big. And moreover, I her showcase very small. I was supposed to use 60, but I let her use 50 because I, I'm managing this uh, Hash okay for that style. So I cut 15 inches. I took it to the sewing machine to turn these two sides to make it neat. So the one that remain, I want to use it to create the pleats that will be up. So I first of all cut 24 inches into two. I was about to cut the next one was supposed to be 28, then 35. But and I discovered that ah the hash okay has finished. If I cut 28, there is nothing that will remain again. So I just put the remaining one into two equal equal size then i measure it and it give me 25 or 26 so i just cut it into two i have to manage it give me 25 then i cut it into two i have to manage it like that to make the style for her so i'll go to the sewing machine and sew these four together this is what we'll be creating our pleats with so yeah i've already joined the base this is for the base i've joined the base together so it meant for me to so it meant for me to create the pleats for the base of the gilly so here i've already created the place i created four plates and i've put the handle like i said before there is a detailed video on how to create your base on my youtube channel you can go and watch it so this is the four for the plates that will be up so i will join the two together so here i've already joined everything together so i want to teach you this step on how to make the front of your gilly look like like tied one not like auto gilly so just pay attention and watch what i'm doing here so i locate the middle of my base i use pin to put the sign then i locate the middle of this split too then i fold it then i join it middle to middle i pin it down because i'm going to go to sewing machine to sew it i'll fold like half an inch inside and use that one to cover the thread of the last split on the base use it to cover the thread on the last plate on the base so the trick is for you not to to tilt your gilly don't sew it straight you sew it straight that's what will make people know that you are wearing auto gilly but you tilt it like this once you tilt it to the towards the end of your base it will give you that tight look so after this one i'll go and sew it on the sewing machine so yeah i finished sewing it on the sewing machine the next thing for us is to is to plate it so this is the for the rows i've already Tie, um talking the edges of the rose. so yeah i put it on my mannequin for us to create the pleats when you want to create the pleats you put your index finger on that then your thumb your two thumb will be on it then you start creating your pleats so create pleats is very very easy so watch carefully and learn this like i said earlier this ashoke is very very small so I just have to manage it to create this type for her. It's very, very small. If you want to create something more bigger than this, you need four hours of the ashoke. The one I used here was just three, and the length is 78. So if you have four hours and you have like 85 or 90 length, you'll be able to make that exact size you saw on my thumbnail. So I've already created the plate. So here. Yeah, I'm straightening out the plates. You use one hand to hold the plates you've created and use your second hand to be straightening out your plates. Don't take premature plates. Don't take premature plates and make sure your plates get to the back. All your plates should get to the back. 
don't take premature pain and don't take don't make your plate to be too big or too small so i'm just trying to use office pin to hold it down at the top so that i'll be able to arrange the side of the plates so i just put like two to three office pin just to hold it down then i'll be straightening out my plates make sure you don't take premature plates and make sure you take all your plates no plates should I any plate that is hiding you bring it forward you use your hand to control your plates you control the gilly with your hand so here i put my right hand at the back my left hand at the front then i'm straightening out the plates as i'm straightening out with my left hand i'm using my right hand to hold it at the back to keep the gilly in place so i'll make sure i extend all the plates every plate that is hiding i will bring it out no premature plates please no premature plates so after that step i'll make sure i bring out all the plates then i will make sure my plates get to the back of the mannequin to the back of the neck of the mannequin that's what will give you that round shape that beautiful round shape how do you bring this gilly is very long it has a it's a full gilly and it has a, a, a very long length you could have you see that round effect once you do this step to any of your gilly to give you that beautiful round effect so i'm just arranging the plates here then i'll take my needle and thread to secure it down first because i will still lose it i will still lose it but i will just want to secure it down first to keep it in place that i'll be able to work on the other side So if you are watched to this point, kindly give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more detailed gilly. I'll be posting more detailed gilly. So I have done the second side too. So once you do one side, the other side will go up. So this side that I first did, I'll, I will remove the thread. You know, I told you I will still lose it. I will remove the thread to make sure I replete it again. To give you that round look i'm looking for it's because the gilly is not long i didn't want the gilly is long there's no need for me to lose it everything would have been balanced but because the gilly is short i'm managing it once i do one side the other side will go up but now i make sure both of them are equal you can see you can see the round shape it's key even with the fact that the gilly is still is small you can see that it still give that round shape so the next thing now is to tack our plate in place and you start from the inside don't put don't tack your gilly from the top or from the bottom tack it from the middle all your tacking should be at the middle and your thread must not be visible so this 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 is where you bring out all your plates all the plates that is hidden that is one is inside one is up you bring everything out and make sure that your tacking did not show at the top of your gilly you use that last plates on top to cover the sewing so the sewing will be inside it will not be visible so you tack it from inside and outside you tack it on like that you just tack two two inches two two inches after this place you measure two inches and you tack everything around so here yeah, i'm almost true but i want to show you how to do this second side you make sure you tack from the middle of your plates you can see the way i'm bringing out all the plates don't let any premature plate any plate you take from the first side you make sure you take it from the second side so that your plates will be equal everything will be balanced one will not be bigger than the other one that's just the trick so the trick is for you to bring out your plates arrange your plates very well so that what you do for this for small gilly is what you are going to do for big gilly if you want to make bigger bigger size of this design it's the same step it's just that you add more length to your gilly everything i'm doing here is the same step you are going to make if you want your own to be a bit higher or bigger than this the trick is just for you to add more length to the to the length of the gilly and you here i join four you can join five you can join six depending on how high you want your plates to be so yeah i finished tacking the ends inside so i will i've told you i will lose this um, plates that I the tray that I used to hold it because I'm going to retack it. I will replete it to give you that round shape. When I'm putting, I'm coughing my hand towards the inner, towards the inner of the gilly. You can see that I'm not putting it straight. I'm tilting my hand towards the inner so that everything will fall at the back, at the 
back of the neck of your client. Once the ogilvy falls to the neck or at the back of your neck, it will give you that beautiful round shape you are looking for. This this is the step you are going to use to achieve your round pleated autogilly. If you want to make it higher, like I said earlier, you just to you just have to increase the length of your gilly. Where I use 28, you can use 30, 35, 45, 50, depend on how how wide your gilly and how plenty your gilly is. So here I've joined it, I cut off the excess, then we will now put our strap. The strap to hold the tip to tie the plates. That's the second strap. I told you guys earlier that in my previous video that I, mean, I don't use velcro, I use strap and I create the strap on myself. So this I show okay is just 10 inches by length. So I fold it and I cut it into two because I love my strap to be very, very tiny. Like it will be easier for you to tuck in. So after I cut it into two, I will use one to hold each each side. So this one I will use it to cover this sewing here that thread will not be visible by the time i finish tacking it you place it make sure the end the end in four at the ins, inside of your gilly at the end so that it, it should not be out it should be in so it will not be visible so you tack it round so after that thing, by the time you turn this you can see there will not thread everything will be neat so give it that neat finishing so i've tacked this side after tacking it i will bring the gilly out like this just as you see me do then i'll press the side that i cut it in use the side that that is pleated you know they pleat they usually pleat the mouth of the ashoke that will not fray so that side that will not fray will be on top the part that i cut it that will fray will be inside so i'll just sew that one on top of it and i'll make sure my thread is not showing after that one i will bend i'll fold the two side of the gilly in fold the under tuck the two side in and put it on top of each other then i'll go to my sewing machine and sew it to make it very tiny to give it that neat finish what i do for once i'll do it for the other side so here i've put the handle you can see the side see the neat finishing there is no thread showing see the other side too so i've put the hand so the next thing for us to do now is to create our bow our small bow so i also have a full detailed video on how to make this bow on my channel so you can go and watch the detailed video so that you get the step on how to make this bow. It's the same um, step. If you want to make bigger one, you just increase the length to 70. Yeah, I'm making a smaller one. So I use 50 inches for the length. So here is the finished look of our gilly. If you watch to this point, kindly give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more detailed video. Bye-bye, guys. See you in my next video.